this section 127. And we're going to be talking about polynomial division. And when we're talking about polynomial division, there's going to be two sections that we're talking about. Uh, first section is when we divide by a monomial. So let's write this down here. Dividing by a monomial. Uh, and there's a couple things to keep in mind. One thing is that you break up or separate the numerator over the denominator. And we also remember the quotient property. Now the quotient property it says if you have x to the sixth divided by x to the second, we subtract those powers. Let's take a look at a few of these examples. The directions are just going to be to divide. And then no negative exponents. So what if we had 27x to the fifth minus 18x to the fourth plus 9x squared minus 12, all divided by 3. So we're dividing everything by 3. 3 is a single term, also known as a monomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to write 27x to the fifth divided by 3 minus 18x to the fourth divided by 3 plus 9x to the second over 3 and then the minus the 12 over the 3. So we are separating everything on top with the denominator. And then you could just divide 9x to the fifth minus 6x to the fourth plus 3x to the second. And then minus 4 would be our answer. We didn't have to use any quotient property for this, uh, but we will in the next example. So what if we had 27x to the fifth minus 18x to the fourth plus 9x to the second minus 12. And this time we're going to divide everything by 3x. Mm -hmm. Oh, just like before, we're going to break up everything on top at the bottom. 27x to the fifth over 3x minus 18x to the fourth over 3x plus 9x to the second over 3x, and then minus 12 over the 3x. So 27 divided by 3 is 9, but x to the fifth divided by x to the first is just x to the fourth. Uh, this would be 6x to the third, 3x to the first. Uh, but there's no x on top here. So 
I mean, you can think about it x to the zero divided by x to the first, which is x to the negative first, or just leave it alone, 12 over 3x. If you want more of these, what if it's 16x to the fifth minus 24x to the second minus 12, all divided by negative 4x to the third? And we'll separate these 16x to the fifth over negative 4x to the third minus 24x to the second over negative 4x to the third and then negative 12 over negative 4x to the third. Sixteen divided by negative four is negative four. This is the x to the second plus six x to the negative first. Remember, two minus three is negative one, uh, and then twelve over positive four is just three. But the x to the third stays on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and finish this. Remember, we can't have negative powers, so we could just bring this negative to the bottom. And that would be our answer. When we're dividing by a monomial, that's what we do. Quick question. For for the for this um can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, sorry. Um for the six, isn't isn't like twenty-four over negative four, isn't it negative six? Yeah, but you see how there's a negative and a negative here? Oh, okay. So yeah. that, that comes from good, good question though. Okay, thank you. All right, so the question is, where does the six over X come from? Uh, and are you okay with where the X to the negative first comes from? But so we learned a property in our last class where if you have a negative power, what that means is you put it on the uh, other side of the fraction. So this would just become A to the positive like that. So the x to the negative first, the x goes on the bottom, and six is to the first, so that stays where it is, but the x is negative, so that switches position. Does that make sense? No. All right. Uh, so in our last class, we talked about negative powers. We said how that switches position. Like if you have one over two x to the negative third, the negative three, means we could put the x on top. Are we okay now? Yeah, that's so what. All right, well, we just need a refresher. Anytime you have a negative power, you switch the position, all right? Are we okay now? Uh, so that was the first type of problem I wanted to talk about was with dividing by a monomial. So the second one's gonna be a little different. Let's talk about dividing by a polynomial. So we're going to talk about this. It's totally different. Uh, we use this technique if not dividing by a monomial. Monomial means single term. Uh, and it's just like elementary school. And 
I'll show you a couple examples, but the idea is that you divide, you multiply, and then you subtract. So with math, it's easier to show you with numbers than it is with words. So let's just write that down and then I'll ask you to uh, just divide the following. And I'll give you two, uh, two questions. 521 divided by two, and then x squared plus 5x minus three divided by x plus one. So the first one is kind of like uh, elementary school. We set it up like this, two divided into 521. And we're gonna do the same thing with the second, x plus one divided into x squared plus five x minus three. So we'll set up both problems exactly the same. So with the first one, we say two times what is five. And then we multiply by two and then subtract. Then you bring the next number down. And the process starts over again. So just like those three words I said up top, we divide 12 divided by two is six. Then we multiply six times two is 12, and then we subtract. Two goes into one zero time, and then we subtract. The remainder is one, so we write one half. 521 divided by two is 260 and a half, right? Okay. We're going to do the same thing with polynomials. So we do exactly the same steps. The way we do this uh, is we say x times what is x to the second. Okay. Then you multiply and subtract. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. But we're going to subtract those just like we did before and then bring the next number down. Same exact thing as what we did before. Divide, multiply, and subtract. And now we're looking at the x and the 4x. So x times what is 4x? 4. Then you multiply. And then subtract. There's nothing to bring down, which means our answer is x plus four plus the remainder over the divisor. That's how we divide polynomials. And a couple other examples I'll show you. Uh, I it looks on your faces, it looks like we could use a couple more examples. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll do the next one and uh, try to figure this out together here. What if we had 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, and we're dividing that by x minus 4? We'll set it up. like before, x times 1 is 2x squared, then you multiply and subtract. So x times 2x is 
two x squared minus eight x. But we have to subtract those numbers. We're subtracting two x squared, and we're subtracting negative eight x. So we're really just adding it, and then bringing down the next number. Well, we'll do x times what is eleven x. Uh, oh, negative three plus eight is five. Right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, let's just recap here to make sure we're all on the same page. Starting off by saying x times what is 2x squared. Yeah. And then we multiply 2x times x, 2x times negative 4, but then we have to subtract 4. Negative 3 plus negative 5. Then we bring the 5 in. All right. All right. So now let's keep going here. x times what is 5x? Five, 5. And then we multiply. And then subtract. It looks like we get a remainder of 25 here, which means our answer is going to be 2x plus 5 plus the remainder over the divisor. This would be the answer. Maybe we'll try one more. Yeah. Are you okay? I'll do this one. One thing I want to point out, this one's a little bit different because it looks like we're missing a term right here. So I'm just going to put a little note. If missing a term, use zero as a placeholder. What this means is have x to the third, we have an x squared, but we don't have an x. So you'll run into issues if you don't put zero to x there. So let me show you what this looks like. We're going to have 2x plus 3. We're going to divide that into 6x to the third plus 5x squared plus 0x plus 9. Now we'll do the same thing. 2x minus 3x to the second gives us 6x to the third. So 3x squared times 2x is 6x to the third plus 9x squared. Then we have to subtract it. Right, let's start over. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared minus 6x. But then we have to subtract those. So you can either think about it as subtracting them or changing the sign. Then we just get 6x plus the 9. And then 2x times 3 is 6x plus 9, and subtracting those gives us a remainder of nothing. 